perch are known to be one of the easiest species to catch. Just go out on a beautiful summer day and you're more or less guaranteed to catch plenty. There's just one PSD. They can also decide to shut down completely. Normally when fishing, you can decide for yourself when to go out or not, but that is not the case in Perch Pro. The ability to adapt to the circumstances, no matter how bad they are, is what separates the aspiring pros from the real ones. This year we have eight teams fighting for the trophy, and they are doing so in the toughest conditions in the history of this format. Four points will be given out each day. The number point, the big fish point, the top five point, and the top water point. At the end of the tournament, four extra points will be given out. One for the highest total numbers over all three days, one for the biggest perch caught, one for the highest combined top five, and one for the biggest perch caught on top water. As if this wasn't already challenging enough, there's a new rule this season forcing all teams to fish new waters every day or at least a minimum of three kilometers from where they fished previous days. This will put them to serious test as it will no longer be enough with one crazy water to secure the victory. As you might already know, the Canal Gratis family is growing. And we recently hired five awesome guys from France, Germany, the Netherlands and the US. And before we start, I would like to quickly introduce you to them. Bonjour, I'm Tim from the French Channel. Hello everyone, I'm Tristan, also from the French Channel. Guten Tag, I'm Severin from Germany. Hi, I'm Lau from CanalGratis.nl Hi, my name is Ben Stone, I love the musky fish and I am with canalgratis.com, the United States channel. We will leave the links to our new channels in the description and it will be amazing to share this journey with you guys. Now, let's get this competition started. This, this is Perch Pro 8. 8. I'm born to win. Right, Perch Pro Season 8, we're going to do this. This time we're going only for big perch. We have some unfinished business to deal with today. Let's go. Our game plan is to uh, go all in again for the big fish. Now guys, the goal is to catch a what the f*** perch. And we have done it before, so... Let's go! Let's go get one! Woo! Oh man, tough conditions, but uh, yeah, we can't choose it. When did this perch to 50 plus? Oh, fish on! Good one! <coughs> oh, happy days! Ooh. That's a monster perch. I'm born away! Yes! Oh, they are chasing on the surface. That's a 50, man. Oh, that's a 50. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh one big two. Oh, yeah, get it. The old guy still can do it. Woo! Man, that cannot be true. I'm going to win. It's game over. Oh, no. Oh, my fucking God. Perch Pro 8 is brought to you by Alumacraft. Fishing boat since 1946. One boat network, all together now. Kingfisher Angelraisen, fishing trips to some of the best destinations in the world. And JR Logistics, staffing and recruitment of truck drivers and warehouse workers since 2004. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honor that I welcome you all back to the 8th season of Perch Pro. We are beyond excited to see what this round has to offer since our teams have had another year to fine tune their game plans, sharpen their hooks and search for the best waters possible. Before we get the competition started, of course we're going to have a chat with all the 8 teams and let's begin with the winners of the previous season. CWC Fishing Team, represented by Adam Ore and Evert Ostam. CWC have had a team in all 8 seasons and while they have always fished well, it took them no less than 7 years to bag their first victory. This year they're back at the same battlefield, the legendary lakes and rivers of the Netherlands. Let's see how their tactics hold up and if they can keep their title for a second year. Hi, I'm Adam Ore and uh, we're in the team Catch with Care. My name is David Ozan. Well, you know me. We are excited again for a new episode of uh, Perch Pro. Season 8. The conditions are tough. You see the waves around us. Our game plan is to uh, go all in again for the big fish. So uh, let's hope we can get some 50s for you guys. Compared to last year, our pre-fishing is not that great. The biggest one was 44. Yeah. 
So it will be a challenge, especially with the high winds. Yeah, and as you can tell by the surroundings, we're in the Netherlands once again. Yes. And uh, well, it was the game plan all along. Let's hope it will uh, follow through. Yeah. So be sure to cheer us on in the coming episodes. We're gonna do our best to keep the competition at bay. Yeah, yeah. And if you have any questions about the lures we use or anything about the game plan and so on, drop the comments under the, the movie and uh, we will try to do our best to answer it. Well, for now, good luck, buddy. Have a good show, you guys. Cheer us up, thumbs up, and uh, follow us for the epic fishing in the Netherlands. Team Catch with Care. See you soon. The next team is located in the remote areas of northern Sweden, known for its untouched lakes filled with giant perch, which is what drew the attention of Team Bite of Bleak. They entered the format for the first time in 2020 and shocked the world with an absolutely mind-blowing result. Or how about catching more than 100 perch, about 40 centimeters, in three days of fishing. Despite that, they ended up in second place, beaten by CWC fishing team by a tiny margin and now they're back for revenge. Hello guys. Hello. This is Pelle from Bite of Bleak. And I'm Peter Fredriksson from Bite of Bleak. We are up in the northern part of Sweden and we have some unfinished business to deal with today. Last year we was... I would say extremely unfinished business <laughs> yeah. this year. We have, we was like one centimeter or 24 perches uh, too away short. From the... uh, away from the... Away from the victory. Yeah. So, with this new setup to fish uh, three different lakes, we're gonna go all in and we have some really, really good lakes for you this year. Today we're on lake one, first day of Perch Pro. It's a deep lake with a lot of structure and roaches. And for tomorrow, we're gonna fish a shallow lake with like three meters of water and a lot of grass in it. And uh, so it's gonna be totally two different days, the first and the second one. On the last day, we're gonna make something huge. We're gonna go for that fish to rock them all over the boat. Yeah. We're gonna go for that big, big one lunker so we can change the outcome on this competition. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Let's go. To meet the third team, we need to head back to the Netherlands where we find Team Gator, represented by Mika Mojonen from Finland and Matt Boast from the UK, who are participating for the first time. Welcome to the show, chaps. Right, we're ready? Yeah, man. So it looks like CWC are already at the ram. I think that's Team Gator. Yeah, it is. Yeah, sure. Same lake, same spot. No, it is what it is. I think they have the same feeling like us. <laughs> you better leave, boys. It's for the best. I don't think we're, they're coming to our spot. Hopefully not. I think it's time we do. We go do a little ritual at the gate. Yeah? Yeah, ritual. You'll see soon. Mark our territory. So there's a bit of a ritual down here. With us being go big or go home. I brought my 80 centimeter one. Mate. Let's stick it on. Let's put that bad boy on here. Yeah, man. This won't stick at this end. This one, look at that. Oh, no. You, oh, no. No. Epic we'll fail. We'll another sticker. Epic fail. Epic fail. So when everything fails in the beginning, that's yeah. when magic happens. <laughs> right, guys. Welcome to Perch Pro Season 8. My name is Matt Boast. And this little chap here. Yeah, my name is Mika Muiren and welcome to Team Gator. So we're currently down in the south of Holland on some of the larger bodies of water that I've spent time practicing on over the years. So this for me is a little bit of a second home. Yeah, well, according to pre-fishing, it really looks like that because we caught nothing. <laughs> so anyway. But the best, the best pre-fishing is the worst pre-fishing. Yeah, that's absolutely correct. What are the tactics for today? Do we have any tactics? Um, I think you should boss it like you usually do, going on the bigger stuff. Yeah. And I'll probably do the finesse techniques. So a little bit of drop shot, maybe mix it up with a bit of Carolina. Yeah. So I wake them up and you catch them. Yeah. Don't we? You, yeah. you activate them and then I'll uh, I'll set the hook. I right. think it's uh, three minutes. We have time, so uh, we'll see you later. Not too far away, our next team is getting ready to hit the water. Dustin Schöne and Tobias Ekwall have competed in the two previous seasons and both times they've been fishing in Sweden. This year they changed the setting to the Netherlands and are fighting in the name of Team Nace Stroft. 
Stroft is a German company dedicated to making the best fishing lines in the world which will hopefully give Tobias and Dustin the edge they need to beat the competition. They recently won the first edition of Sender Pro and we'll see if they'll reach the top once again. Hello and welcome to Perch Pro Season 8. It's our third time and uh, yeah, how do you feel? I'm feeling good and this time we have changed the tactics. We have been in Sweden the two first years yeah. and this time, the third time, we are in Netherlands. And yes. this time we're going only for big perch and also yes. topwater, but yes. no numbers this time. No numbers, not possible over here. Our pre-fishing was quite, yeah, uh, sometimes it was good, but most of the times it was really annoying because we caught not many and not that big fish but yesterday we had a really great day with a perch close to 50 yes. and uh, we are now on a lake because the wind is quite heavy and we need a sheltered area so we have a really small lake where we can hide from the wind so i hope we will catch something toby for sure let's go next up is another newcomer to the format Team Fish Candy with Torben Kagelmacher and Martin Curiolo from Germany. Fish Candy is a young brand focusing 100% on high-end lures and products for the Japanese market. This is where many of the American bass anglers find the latest lures and techniques and the mission of Fish Candy is bringing these to the European market, primarily in the form of ready-to-fish boxes packed with mega cool stuff. To put those lures to the test, they have traveled to the Baltic archipelago in the southern part of Sweden. Known for being extremely tricky, but if they crack the code, they might be up for a damn good reward. Hello guys, welcome to Perch Pro 8. Uh, I'm Martin and this is Torben. Uh, we are representing Team Fish Candy and a lot of JDM stuff for you. And yeah. Yeah, welcome to Perch Pro 8 guys. I'm Torben, as Martin said. We had big plans, but the yeah, weather quit some of them. <laughs> we have to change plans. Now our all or nothing move for the last day. We start today. We are in the southeast archipelago from Sweden. We are pumped and yeah, let's go. About 1,000 kilometers further north, one of the true Perch Pro veterans just entered the water. Stefan Nilsen has competed in the four previous seasons and this time he's fishing together with Thomas Helge Schöld in the name of Team Sporting Seaman. Seaman is an American brand famous for making the world's first shatterbait and they also played a huge role in developing the net rig, known to catch fish even in the toughest of conditions. We'll see if that can help them win Perch Pro 8. Good morning! I am Stefan Nilsson, the owner of Spotting, and we are Team Spotting Seaman. And this year I brought my good friend Thomas from Stockholm, who is the Swedish guy from Seaman, and uh, here he is. I'm the Swedish or Scandinavian sales agent for, for Seaman. I've been fishing my whole life since the last 40 years. I have a great passion for fishing and, and perch fishing is one of my top favorite fishing. Today it's all about catching the big ones. So follow us this year and let's go! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Our second to last team are also located in the northern parts of Sweden. Say guten tag to the Germans Matthias Wohl and Marius Miesens representing Team Kingfisher Angelresen, who, as you know, offer fishing trips to some of the best destinations in the world. These guys are some die-hard perch addicts and I can't wait to see how they will perform. Good morning from sunny Sweden. This is Team Kingfisher. Uh, my name is Marius Miesen. My name is Matthias Fohl. We are here in the middle part of Sweden and as you see we have lovely weather today. The rain picks up, we had tough conditions while pre-fishing but not too bad so... Yeah, we are, we are um, pretty pumped up so we waited a long time for this day. Yes. Um, we are actually going for, uh, for some big purchase today so hopefully the weather is not too tough. We know they are here so... Yeah, I just have to get get them on the hook so yes. um, yeah I can't wait to get the party started and um, I would say keep on oozing my keep friend. Keep on oozing! The final team is new to Perch Pro but you might recognize them from the latest season of Fly vs Jörg. Team Headbanger Lures is represented by Marcus Talus and Emanuel Sverd and they are fishing a very remote lake in the most northern parts of Sweden. In order to reach it they need to cross a few kilometers straight through the woods. 
What gets Marcus and Emanuel going is the chase of the biggest specimens out there and they have a solid track record of monster pie, trout, shore and of course perch. As a matter of fact, Emanuel is holding the official Swedish record longest perch ever with this monster of 61.5 freaking centimeters which as far as I know might also be a world record. Let us know in the comments if you know about any longer one. Now I'm more than excited to see them in action. Hey guys, welcome to Perch Pro Season 8. Uh, my name is uh, Marcus Taylor and this is Eman Saad. And we are team uh, Headbangalers. So Eman, what are we going to do today? Today we're in a small lake in the middle of nowhere and we're gonna show you guys that you can catch big perch with the latest technology. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> no, we're gonna do simple fishing and uh, like simple tactics and show you yeah. guys that you don't need a fancy boat or fancy equipment to catch big perch. That's the plan at least. We've only been here once and then we caught a 48 and a 50 in only a few hours of fishing. So um, today we're gonna try to do the same or even better, but fishing is fishing and you never know what's gonna happen. So, but let's go now and yeah. go catch a fish. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Come on. <laughs> Those were our eight teams and this is how they're spread out across Europe. Three of them are fishing in the Netherlands and the remaining five in Sweden. It's now 8 o'clock, so let the battle begin. First cast, man. <laughs> okay. Perch Pro, season 8, episode Uno. Okay, 8 o'clock. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go. Right, first cast, Perch Pro, season 8. We're gonna do this. Let's catch at least five decent ones today. First cast, Perch Pro, season 8. I did, Top it. Water. I did it before you. <laughs> let's get some perch. Okay, it's 8 o'clock and it's time to start fishing. We are out on the middle of the sea. It's about 10 meters deep, up to 12 meters. I will start fishing with a Seaman Jackhammer, 35 grams to get down deep fast. And I go uh, shadow bait with a piglet craw. I caught some big fish on this one. So let's go, let's go get one. Woo! First cast. Yes, we're at the first spot. We are ready for some topwater action now to get the day started. So we, we hope for good topwater fishing. Tough condition, but uh, yeah, we can choose it. So let's get Perch Pro 8 started. Yes, first cast. Keep first on cast, using. Keep on using. Yes. Okay, eight o'clock. Let's go. We're going to fish uh, a weed line over here. I'm going to start fishing with the bang ribs and the rocky head, and maybe I'll go also with the cranky shad. Let's see. So it's 2.2 uh, meters here, and we are cast length from the weed line. So uh, I think this will be a good spot. Let's go. First cast for me. So the first spot we're, uh, we're fishing is a deep drop off from a shallow plateau with some uh, structure on it. Fishing the heavier Astro Vibe usually does the trick. So we'll see what happens. At the moment, it's not that much wind. It's gonna pick up a lot more later. So we're gonna start with top water for like five minutes to see if there's any fish active because that point can be really important. You should cast more in that direction with your lure. You had so many fish over there. Bites. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, it was big perch. It was big. Oh, that was a 45 perch. I saw it. Oh, oh my God. It was a 45 perch. That would have been good, both for the big fish point and for the top water. Have you seen it? No, I, I just heard a, a big splash. <laughs> okay, then we know they are here and are active. But it, it missed. That was a huge fish. Whoa. Oh. I had one, I had one. Oh. Have you seen it? Was it big? No, I didn't see it. And the thing is, it's not that much small fish here. No. This was both a good and a bad start. Close but no cigar for Neistroff. We're almost starting off with a really good sized perch on top water. Scheisse! Up in northern Sweden, Bayer Blik are firing off their first casts. We have found the spot we think we can get some really good ones. And for sure we're gonna have the numbers here. Yeah, like one trillion roaches down here. <laughs> yeah, hopefully a lot of perches yeah. also. So really pumped. You're gonna do the blading. Yeah. I'm gonna do the new Uriel Craw with the TPE material, high stretch. So it's totally stand up on the bottom. So the big ones can grab it in. Let's go, bro. I like that sound. <laughs> yep. Nice! You have the net there, Pelle, if you need it. 
fish on in the second cast of the day for Pelle and if they manage to land it, Pyro Bleak will be the first team to enter the scoreboard. Doesn't look like a giant, but definitely a nice perch. So my second call. Nice fish yeah. to start with. Yeah, they are here. Uh, just need to, to sort them out to get the, the tanks. But good start. 38. Really, really nice one. It's a good start anyway. Let's go. The first fish of Perch Pro 8 has officially been caught. 38 centimeters for Team Bite Oblique, putting them on top of the board. We're just two casts into the tournament though, so this shouldn't last for too long. Team Headbanger Lures also caught one in the second cast, but it didn't reach 30 centimeters, and therefore it doesn't count. Marcus and Emanuel are not here for the numbers though. During pre-fishing they didn't catch too many of them, but the ones they did catch made it clear that they just had to return to this lake during Perch Pro. Oh. Yeah, that's a nice one. Get the net. That's a nice one. Get the net. This one should be approved at least. Nice. nice. First little bit bigger one. So our first decent fish on the banger ribs with the rocker head. Look at this beauty. Old warrior. You can see that it's an old fish with the big eyes and long fins. I caught this one just by the weed edge. They are hiding out in the weed because it's a lot of pike in this lake. So the perch are sticking to the weeds for shelter. Let's see how long it is. So this one is actually a uh, 44. Okay, let's release this old warrior. Bye bye beauty. Great start for Team Headbanger Lures. 44 cm putting them in the lead. It's a nice one for their top 5, but they surely won't get to keep the big fish point for too long with that perch. Team Sporting Seaman are throwing shatter baits over deep water, going all in for the big ones. Pisa, got one. Super. Nice one. It's packed with fish down here. <laughs> Come on. There you go. First fish of the tournament. Good start. Good start. Yeah. Boom. Nice fish. There you go. Super nice fish. Eight uh, shadow baits with the piglet craw, purple and blue. Good one. Let's check it out how big she is. This first fish is 44. 44. 44. Look at her. So pretty. 44 centimeter. Good start. That we like. Let's put her back. Oh! Whoa. That's big fish, right? Yes. Oh, I have it, I have it, I have it. I have it. Big fish, big fish. Uh, on top of that, Toby, please of... get it. Please get it. Please. This get... one is big. That's it. It's so strong. Are you ready? This one is big. It's coming. Wow. Yes! Oh! Not that big, but good. But still. It's still big. It's still big on top of water. Yes. That's <laughs> what we're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was intense. Very good, too. It was so strong. Okay, I'm gonna measure it and you keep on uh, fishing. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was way bigger, but. Yeah, me too, but it's okay. First one. I think this might be the first. Perch caught on top water in Perch Pro Season 8, and it looks like this. I think it's closer to 40 centimeters, so time to measure it. I say it's 38. First, I will wet the measuring board, and I will see. It is 39 centimeter. Almost 40, 39. I don't think it will be enough for the top water point, but who knows? If uh, the other ones aren't fishing top water, it might be the biggest one. So we're gonna put it back and I'm gonna keep hammering with the top water for like a couple of more minutes. After missing a really big one, Team Neistroff delivers the first top water perch of the competition. The only other team going for the top water point at the moment is Kingfisher Angelresen, but they have one problem. It's raining cats and dogs in the middle of Sweden, giving them far from ideal conditions. With that in mind, there is a chance that the 39cm perch Tobias just caught could be enough to give them the top water point. The thing is, north weather is hard. Yes, yeah, and Sporting never went for the top water. Quite a fleek. But the Germans do. I know them. Okay. The fish candy guys. But the fish candy are in Kalmar, they will never get the top water there. Are they? Yes. Uh, maybe. Ah, because Adam met them, right? Yes. They will never get the top water. I promise you. Sure. Yes. No. 
Yeah, we know that uh, we have not so big chance to get um, the numbers point, but we're going for the uh, top five and maybe for the top water point because the weather is uh, very good today for top water fishing. And yeah, this is our tactic for today. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Team Fish Candy are fishing Tobias home waters and according to him, they won't have a chance of getting the top water point in these waters. The rain is picking up for Kingfisher and sometimes that's when the real lunkers go hunting. Good one. That's not a bad one. So I take the, take net. the net. Could be a pike though, but I think it's a perch. Big one on the hook for Marius. Let's see if it has stripes or dots. Or oh, maybe it's a pike, damn it. No, it's a big perch. No, it's a perch. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Now that's a nice topwater perch. Oh. Get her into take the it. net, Matthias. Yeah. Damn it. it. Don't stress. Be calm and cool. Yes, yes baby. First topwater perch <laughs> of the day. <laughs> a really nice fish, man. <gasps> Oh, that's keep awesome. on casting, keep on casting. That's Matthias. pretty awesome. Keep yes, on casting. Take the net. I take it. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Sweet one. With a lovely morning. Nice but he weather. inhaled it. Look at this. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Yeah, but it's a, it's a small one. So I don't have to wet my hands just because they're already soaking wet. Get the measure board. Right there. So it's a 40. 40. Oh my fucking god. 46. Really nice fish. Yes, dude. man. Keep on using. Meine Damen und Herren. We're not even 15 minutes into the competition and Team Kingfisher Angelresen just set the bar with the biggest topwater perch in the history of Perch Pro. 46 cm perch on topwater. Thanks for that. So time to release that baby. 46. Oh, they are chasing they are on the surface. That was a really yeah. good catch. Should be worse start of the day, man. Yes. Nice fish. Shitty weather. Under up nice get up pop. Oh man. Pumped up. Shitty and conditions, but big fishes. Oh, I was yes. kind of scared that the perches are not here, but they are feeding. So that's good. Huge congrats, Marius. That's a wicked perch to catch on top water. And with 46 centimeters, you're even holding the big fish point at the moment. Further north in Sweden, Team Sporting Seaman are doing everything in their power to change that. Boom! Nice! Ah. This one is 43. Let's go back. Super! 15 minutes into the game, two fish on the board, 43 and 44. Pretty good start, missing the big ones so far, but uh, always good to get some fast action. What about the other teams? Yeah, the bite of peak is just around the corner. They're fishing not very far from us. They are some really good waters. They they were one one centimeter from winning last year. Then uh, I guess the new guys, Headbanger Lewis, they are from way, way, way up north in Sweden. I'm pretty sure they'll be fishing at their their home area. Then there'll probably be at least two or three teams in Holland. I think I think Nase is in Holland this year. And I think uh, Team Gator is in Holland. I know that the guy, Matt, the English guy from Team Gator, fishes a lot in Holland. So I think they're there, but I don't know. One thing that is clear is that... One thing is clear that Stefan got another one. Is... The old guy yeah, still can do fish. it. Ah, super. This one is a little bit better. There you go. This one's a better size. It's a tank. Ooh, ooh, yu, 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 yu. <laughs> Look at this one. Super. Look at this nice fish. I guess around 45 is what I guess. Chatterbaits, piglet craw, super nice. Let's see, she is 45. 45, okay. Really, really good looking. Three fish, 43, 44, and now this pretty girl, 45. Let's put her back. You cannot do anything but love these beautiful fish. Let's go, baby. Like an Apache. Wall paint. Boom. She doesn't know. Now they started moving. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you see it. Smack Miller. You can see how they react to what color yeah, on the yeah. and get instant feedback. Ooh, try going back. Oh, what should we do? Carolina or drop shot? Ooh, tough choice. Was it CWC? Yeah. Okay. That's interesting, because they were fishing 
when we want to go up there. We'll give this another 10 minutes maybe. Yeah. As we all know, having another angler fishing the same area always adds a bit of stress and after half an hour of fishing, CWC fishing team are changing spot. Okay, let's continue. First cast, new spot, boom, 50. If those guys will leave to another spot, Adam. Yeah. Yeah, fish. Blade master. <laughs> it was... First fish, new spot. Yeah. Well, at least we have fish in the boat. This is our uh, best spot, so to say, of this uh, edge. It's like uh, deeper water and it comes from that side and this side and it goes underwater like in a, in a point. And we just fish the edges. And in normal circumstances, those edges are packed with fish. We fish them with, uh, with blades. And we just cast into the deeper areas, like seven, six meters. And we slowly fish them up to us. And we fish the boat, it's on uh, five meters. And uh, we do like 10 casts, nothing there. Just move on one casting length. And that's how we scan the entire spot. And when we get strikes, we stay there and try to catch as many perch as uh, possible, of course. Yeah, fish. Nice. No, small one. Sure? Yeah. Net? Or? No, 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 no. It's not an approved one. Second perch. They are here. It's not approved, but at least we found a perch. And now we must hope for bigger ones. But at least we found some active perch. And in this area, we caught uh, really big ones, up to 50 centimeters. So we know that they are here. But uh, like you see the weather, it's, it's like changing all the times. The wind is coming from different directions. It's hard, it's low pressure front. So now we have to constantly casting and focus and hope for a big one. And I think Adam will catch it soon. CWC aren't the only ones experiencing slow fishing at the moment. Even Headbanger, who started off great, are now struggling to catch big ones. We're catching quite a lot of small perch right now, only one approved so far, but I'm not worried because in this lake there's a lot of these small ones, but uh, when a fish rises over that stage they can go, grow really big. So uh, we're looking for these few big individuals and I think they are not too far away. Ooh. Now, get them up. This is a big perch. Ooh, Ooh this that's one is nice. Look at the size of the perch that he's put up. <laughs> Way, good job, Elana. This is a big perch. We fished exactly one hour. It's just before nine o'clock, and we caught the second big fish. And here it is. No, this was the meal from the perch <laughs> that we just caught. Can you see that, guys? This is crazy. So don't be afraid to use big baits for perch as well. So should we measure our catch? This one is 20, just over 22 centimeters, the bait that the perch bit up. So let's have a look at this beauty. This is a very healthy specimen. Look at this specimen. The conditions on this one is completely different to the other one we just caught. Let's measure this one and see how big it is. This one is actually the same length, 44 centimeter. Let's release this beauty. Uh, we have three fish in uh, total, it's 44, 44 and 30. So we need to upgrade that. Yeah. Can you do that? I've just started. It's nine o'clock, which means that the teams have been fishing for one hour. And while some of them have had a great start, most of them are struggling. Team Bite Oblique are holding both the number point and the top five points, but their biggest one is only 38 centimeters and they're far from happy about the results. So Peter, yes. we need to step it up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> stepping Step. as hell. <laughs> I really think we are on the right spot here because we see a lot of big fish. I'm gonna try some new technique. I'm gonna put in a zebra worm. I'm gonna rig it as a wacky to see if they are really slow because of this cold weather that came in this night. So let's see how that works out. Let's go. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, guys. This is not what we wanted as, as a start. So it's gonna be a grind day, Peter. Yeah. Right. Right. Känns bättre, bättre, bättre. Jag har inte hovarna här. Hej, bye bye. Nice perch. 
nice. Nazebo worm. Uh, good. <laughs> really slow fishing now. Put the nasibo worm on. Tackled it as uh, wacky. And this one on the first cast. 40. 40? Yeah. Nice. Really nice when you change the technique and uh, directly get the response with a nice bite. So keep on doing it. Feels okay, this one. Good job, Peter. Maybe the biggest fish for today, I'm not sure. Perfectly hooked in the upper. 41. 41 centimeter, took on the nocebo worm. The reason why I tried the wacky style is because we see a lot of fish here. We don't get them to bite, so with this I can give them more time and just be very sensitive with them and, and fish on them for a long time. And they seem to like it. The two biggest today caught on, on the nocebo worm. Wacky style. I think that in north of Sweden today, the yeah. teams are here. They will have probably the same difficult fishing as we have now. Yeah, but I think, of course, I think it's so many teams going for big fish. So, of course, someone had to take a good one. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Now I'm trying some nets down at the bottom with a 10 gram and a hula stick. See if there's any bigger ones down on the bottom. Yes, tank! I'm ready. Just like Team Bite Oblique, Thomas changed to a finesse style lure and got hooked up right away. Let's see what's on the hook. Hula stick down at the bottom. Hula bandula! Hula gandula! <laughs> Boom! Okay, this let's is see the first how long fish this is on the one. bottom today, huh? Yeah, this is the bottom fish. 42. I changed tactics a little bit, put on hula stick. Bye bye, fishy! Woo. A net jig on the bottom did a trick for Team Sporting Seaman and they're closing in on Team Bite of Bleak on the top 5 board. Down in Holland, Team Neistroff are abandoning the top water game. Let's stop this Dustin and go for a big fish on Shutterbait. Yeah? I'm not sure about the teams in Holland, but compared to the teams in Sweden, I think we're fishing quite different. We're using the Shutterbait and then we're slowly drifting or slowly going with the engine close to the shore and just covering as much area as possible. Because here it's not that much big perch in uh, one area, they are very spread out, so you really have to find them. Oh, oh how, how long? I think it's a pike. Yeah, it's a pike. Oh, yes, it's a pike. <laughs> Yes, continue fishing. Yeah, I'm not fishing too. But it's a pike, I promise you. Now it turns out it's a big pike. Oh, it's an asp! An asp! Asp! <laughs> <laughs> oh, cool! I, I was like, I got some weed on, and then I tried to just reel it in, and then I thought it was a big pike that took it, but no. Is it your personal best? Yes, it's my personal best asp. Because in Sweden we don't have that much asp, and I only caught one before. Yeah. Oh, Asp Pro. Should we win that next year? No problem. But I think Evert will, will win that one. Not big fish, big fish, big perch. 100% perch this time. 100% perch. I see it. P big perch, big perch, big perch. Oh, two, <gasps> two perch. One big one is behind. Yes. Yeah, good. But oh, it's 40. Oh, it's bigger than 40. It's 43, 44, uh, something like that. And mine is uh, 50 plus. Well, mine and yours is 60. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Let's unhook them. So, this is a great perch. Let's check it. Mouse is closed and it's 43. Not a real big one. Let's release it real quick. Beautiful fish. Look at this. This is so beautiful. Goodbye, my friends. And here we have my personal best on the app. Should we measure it real quick just to see? It's a 60? Yes, it's like 62 or something. We need to catch a perch like in this size, Dustin. Bye bye! 60 plus and a new PB for Tobias. Not too bad. Up north, Team Headbanger just released their previous catch when all of a sudden. Ooh. That was the roach. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think so. It was, right? Yeah. I will try throwing some topwater bait and hoping for a, for a big perch. And the weather is gonna change drastically for tomorrow, so I think today will be our best chance for a topwater point. That's a good strategy. Toss some dead bait onto the surface, get him feeding, and then it's just to grab the topwater rod. A little further south, the bite is on for Team Kingfisher. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. They are shicing on the surface. Oh, did you see that? 
You know, the good thing here is that we actually have topwater fishing the whole day. So we have plenty oh of lakes. God. Oh my God. Yes, seems they are here. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Uh, I thought it's bigger, but it's a good one. So there is your lure. Thanks, man. Sweet fish. Let's measure it and get a quick back. And uh, well, it's already in the water while measuring, but so it's uh, 36, right? It's over there. Really nice fish. Yes, man. I will try some top water now. It's very calm without any wind and we have a place here with a lot of uh, seaweed coming up until I think uh, one and a half meters. So maybe the perch are inside and we will try to get them. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's a, a nice stick bait from OSP. It's the Yamatoyo Junior and you have a small lip here so it walks more stable and um, you have a small sound also like a popper. Team Fish Candy are joining in on the top water game and it will be extremely interesting to see if Tobias predictions were right or not. Down in Holland, Team Gator have located a big school of bait fish and it should just be a matter of time before Matt or Mika gets hooked up. They know these waters very well and know that there are some monsters patrolling these hoods. Yep. That's a big perch, mate. Huh? That's a big perch. Oh no! It's off! That was a big perch. You could see that, you could just see the head, but big head shakes, big head shakes. Fucking can't believe I lost that fish. Yeah, fish. Fish? Yeah. Well done. Let's hope it's a perch. Feels like a little Xander, but uh, ready? Ah, big perch. Come here, Matt, with the net, because I'm left handed. Watch that trolley motor, bro. Yep, stay there. On my left side. On my left side. Coming in. Yes. Yeah, man. Game on. Yes. Get in. Yes. Right, we'll get the measure board. Sit yeah, down. man. Oh, bait came out. Nice. On the Carolina rig. Midnight also. Good. Winning yeah. color. Yeah. Really slowly fished over the... Uh, the muscles. The muscles, yeah. Right, should we put her up here and get a measure? Do we get a 40? Have we got a 40? Ooh, 39. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. First fish. Right. That's nice. We are on the board. Yeah, man. It's good mojo. Right. We'll put her back. Team Gator are on the board. Wonderful, isn't it? CWC fishing teams still aren't, but that's about to change. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm here. I'm here with you, buddy. Okay. It's yes. not a big one, but it's approved. And I will keep on hammering. Baby perch, did the trick. Okay, our first fish on the board is 37. Okay, nice starting fish. 37 fish is on the paper and the time is 10 o'clock. So one fish to report, 37 on top. We're fishing the um, Astrovite blades, 26 grams. The heavy ones, because the wind is, is crazy right now. Next one. Right, so 10 o'clock report, one fish, 39 centimeters. Yeah, just under That's 40. Good. Come on, man. If they're feeding still, we want to get in on them. We probably don't need to click that fish because we ain't going to be in the clicker war today. Last for five minutes have been really bad for us, but now we're changed spot, coming up to two new spots that we have. It's two big rocks. We're going to give this like one hour and then go back to our other spots. A lot of bait fish on, the, on, on these the rocks. Show, yeah, a lot of bait fish. Yeah. It's time for aerial crow. When you fish this type of bait, like a crow bait, you fish it with just small pauses on the bottom, push it in a little bit, then make a pause. So you give the perch time to suck in the bait. So we just need to hammer. There I have one, maybe a pike or maybe a big one. On the aerial crow, maybe that's a good one. Yeah, a good one. We're getting there, inch by inch, centimeter by centimeter. So let's see. 42. Up, upgrade, yeah, 42. Let's re release. I think we're on them now. Bye bye, baby. Yeah. Big fish. Big fish. 
Pelle is on fire. Bra! Det här är stor. Det här är stor! This is a big one! Yes, that's... It's really fat, I'm not sure how no, long it is. No, but it's fat. Mm. Mm. It's so crazy. We had like 40 minutes, we're so slow. Went to a new spot. And uh, as you saw, we saw a lot of bait fish. And uh, still fishing deep with Irilko. And you can see, this is totally inhaled. Let's see how long she is. Biggest one today, Peter, 46 centimeter. Yes! yes. 46! Woo! That's really nice. So funny to fish with this aerial crow. So cool strikes. Just sucked him in. Fishing with a new silent chaser, a football head from BKK. Just a 2-0, but you know, when they take it in, it's no problem. With, with a small hook also, you get a lot of movement on the second part on the jig. So don't go too big hooks, because when this big fish take this, they're grabbing in the hole. So let's release it now. 46 centimeters on the Uriel Crow and Team Bite Oblique are sharing the big fish point with Kingfisher, giving them the lead with three points. Not too far away, Team Sporting are coming after them. That fish. Very good. Yes. It's about time. It's about time. It's about the same size, I guess. Nice! Yeah, no water faster. Super! Beautiful. Seaman jackhammer. 46. Yes! We are going up, increasing one centimeter on each fish. It was 43, it was 44, it was 45, it was 46. I like that. I like that a lot. We now have three teams with a 46 centimeter perch on top. How crazy is that? Historically, it takes more than a 46 to get the big fish point though. And one team who knows that is CWC, who are hammering their blades in their heavy winds, waiting for that one bite. It's too late. Big one. Big perch. If this is perch, Adam. Then it's already a big one. Okay. This is a huge one. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Another one by it. Oh. There was another one next to it. Okay, take it. Take it. Go back, go back, go back. <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is the perch that we are looking for. <laughs> Ah, this is a high 40, man. Evert, the man. Always rely on Evert. Okay, wet in the board. Oh, big and fat one. This is a nice 40 fish. It's like 47. Seven. 47, yeah. 47 perch. This is the perch that we are looking for. 47 centimeters. Caught it on the blade. Astro vibe. It's because in conditions like this, jigs is hardly fishable, and the Astro Vibe Strike Pro, perfect. Evert Blade Master Ostam delivers a stunning 47 cm bars, snatching the big fish point of the day, and all of a sudden, the four points are evenly spread out between Bite Oblique, CWC, Sporting, and Kingfisher. Dicky bars, man. We needed that. Yeah. <laughs> like, the hey, but there was yeah. an even bigger one swimming under it. Yeah. We need to keep on. Keep on hammering. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> and it was like, boom! That's a good feeling. That means that it's possible. It's doable. This is the plan. And this is the lure. Astro vibe. Don't leave home without it. With the big fish point in the bag, now the hunt for the top 5 point begins and when netting the 47, they saw a similar fish right behind it. Yeah, fish. Big perch. I'm so changing to the fire tiger. Oh, this can be a big one as well. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa, a monster. Okay. Yes! yes! <laughs> okay, take it back, take it back, take it back. Oh, what a fucker! <laughs> Evert, my man, that's a tank! We are so on fire! 
This is the fishing we are here for. This is a high 40 again. This is a monster. CWC fishing team are on freaking fire at the moment. They just released the 47 and now they have another tank in the boat despite the very challenging conditions. Let's measure her. It's a long fish. It's a long fish. It's 47 also. 47. Yeah, double 47. Double 47. And this is, well, catching a other 47 on the same lure in the same area. And this gives us high hopes for the first points of the day. I will reach it uh, really quick and uh, hopefully uh, catch another one, guys, for you. 47, second one, and uh, so happy with it. I told you, your year, man, your year. This year is my year. Yeah. But you will, you will catch a 50, I'm sure. And we are not even halfway. Yeah. If we can consistence this fishing and just slowly move around, we only need to catch three more of this size. And we know they are here. Yeah, 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 for sure. So what are you waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> Contribute. And we had such a shit pre-fishing. Yeah. It, the pre-fishing, it sucks big time. And now at the moment of truth, we get him. Bam, bam. Okay, we're in. We're in the game. <laughs> <laughs> It's 11 o'clock and it's the last hour before we know how the other one is doing. And this hour, me and Dustin Hudson caught a single perch. And that's quite common here. You have like one good hour when you catch some perch, and then it's like nothing for one or a couple of hours. And then you can get like them fire up again. So, so that's probably how it's going to be today. Some hours nothing and then some hours quite good fishing. Yeah. And Tilpen. <laughs> you are so hot now. <laughs> Look at this beauty. I'm fishing everything. Worms, vibration, everything. Crawfish. Crawfish on the bottom. Peter was uh, writing down our third hour report. And uh, when he did that, this one came up and took my Eril Craw. Let's see if we have a 45. One more. Yes. Let's put her back. Bye bye. We're starting to see the pattern. We're fishing big crawfish and then we get upsize. So let's continue hammering. It's 11 o'clock and one hour left until the teams will call each other to reveal their midday results. Team Headbanger Lures have had an okay start with 244s in the bag, but that won't give them any points. To change that, Emmanuel tries the new Banger Lizard, and it doesn't take many casts until it gets eaten. Yeah, fish on! Ooh, this oh, one that's feels heavy. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. That's a Get good the one. net, Marcus. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Look, this one is even bigger. Oh, yeah. oh. it's a giant. Oh, this is even bigger. Way, good job, Emanuel. That's a yeah, that's a 45 plus at least. You think so? Yeah, it looks yeah, big. Yeah, it's it's bigger than the 244 for sure. Clearly, their biggest fish so far. But the question is, will it break the 47s that CWC just caught? Let's have a look. They are getting bigger and bigger. Look at this one. This is a prime specimen. Look at that perch. Can you pass me the measuring board, Marcus? Yeah. Yeah, blah blah. <laughs> Oh, how long is it? 47. Great. This one, I caught it on the banger lizard, and now it's gonna swim back. Another nice one for the board for headbanger lures. 47 centimeter giving them a shared big fish point together with CWC. Going into the final hour of this episode, the points are very evenly spread out, and it seems impossible to predict how this is going to end. Good one. Oh, good, good Dustin. One. Good Dustin. You're the man. Oh, fuck. It's a good. Yes, yes. It's in the net. It's in the net. 45 plus? Uh, uh, about that, about that. Dustin, Boom. well done. I think you'll manage to mesh, measure this one by yourself. Yes. And then continue the fishing. Again, the Nace Warrior. Look at this beauty. They are so beautiful here. I think it's 44 or 45 maybe. We will see. Wet it real quick. The measuring tape. 
see how big you are. Come on, 45. No, it is 43. So 43, nice perch. After a fairly slow start for the teams in the Netherlands, it seems like the bite might be picking up. A few more and they'll be in the game. Oh, oh well, good perch, perch. Right beside the boat. It's a big one. It's bigger than big. Yes. Oh, I, I, I thought it was like under 40. No, it's way It's over bigger. It, it was right beside the boat. It is going quite good for us today. No, 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 no. 40 centimeters. But still, I'm gonna put this one back and continue because they are active at the moment and then we just need to keep hammering because I think they might stop later. Team Neistroff are slowly but surely climbing the ranks and are now on a shared third place together with Headbanger. Team Bite Oblique are in second yes. place and are breathing down the necks of Team Sporting. You have the net there, Pelle, if you need it. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah! Nice! This is a lunker. Nice! Yes. Soya! Oh, yeah. oh, nice! Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, baby. Crawfish? Crawfish. Oh, this is a good one. She's so fat. Yeah, this is really fat fish. Oh, it's a football. 45. So fat. Look at that belly. <laughs> and the back. And the back. <laughs> she has potential. Yeah, guys. We're getting there. Slowly, but surely. Let's uh, take another one. Bite Oblique are closing in on Team Sporting and are now only one centimeter behind. You better step it up, Thomas and Fish on! Fish on! Yeah. You had a fish after. Had you Yeah. Super. Testing again. Yeah, fix it. Help. Yeah, fix it. Help. I'll make it. Don't need any help. Continue with your fishing. Nice. Yeah, baby. <laughs> oh, guys, still can do it. But there she goes. Another one bites the dust, boom! This one is 45. Fat one. Fat on her belly, she's been feeding all morning. 45, there you go. Mwah, 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 mwah. Super, super. It's a nice lanka. Step it up, we said, step it up, they did. One must not forget that apart from last year, Team Sporting won the three consecutive years before that and they seem to be on fire this year again. Further north, Emmanuel is upsizing. So I uh, want to go for a big fish now. So I'm gonna change to this uh, bigger prototype version of the banger ribs. This is a hand poured version that Marcus did yesterday and I'm gonna show you guys how to rig it. It's a little bit like a weedless hook, special hook that we have invented for this type of fishing to get the right balance in the jig and also to get the point of the hook far back on the bait so you have a good chance to hook them when you are fishing on the bottom because these rocker heads they stand up really nice on the bottom. I'm fishing the bang ribs with a quite steady retrieve. It holds the depth pretty well. It's a curly tail bait and it has a paddle in the end of the tail. So it falls quite slow and together with the rocker head it pushes a lot of water. So let's see if we can catch a big one on this one. Yeah. No. That was a good one. Shit. That was a good fish, I think. It was not the pike. Oh, yeah, this is a better one. Yeah. Not huge, maybe, but I'll be yeah. ready with the net. Could be good. Yeah, take the net. Oh, yeah, this one feels heavy. Isn't the pike? No, no, it's not. It's a perch. Oh, yes. Keep, keep it on the water. Look at this one. This one is big, Marcus. Oh, that's a monster perch. Whoa! <laughs> That's a monster! <laughs> that's a 50, man. Oh, that's a 50, I think. Oh, ho, ho, ho. damn. That's the bite I had before, I think. Yeah. Oh, what a monster perch. It fills up the entire net. Oh, yes. Sweet. Jävlar, vilken abborre. Det är tung också. Ja, det är tung. 
Ladies and gentlemen, upsizing to the big banger ribs did pay off and that's what a proper northern perch looks like. Due to the colder climate up north, this area of Sweden tends to produce long but quite thin fish, but this one is clearly an exception. Just look at the condition and height of that fish. However, it's only the length that matters in Perch Pro, but I think this one might have what it takes to snatch the big fish point. Det är fan en av de större abbarna jag har fått i mitt liv. Den är så lång den är, den är så jävla hög. Den är så jävla hög, det är det. Wow, look at this beauty. What an amazing fish. Look at that for a perch. It's stunning. This one should be a 50, Marcus. <laughs> yeah, I really hope so. This one is... But it's high. It's a monster, it's, it's, it's high. But yeah. And the back is really wide. We need to, <laughs> to take a weight back. on that. Moment of truth. Let's see. What do you think, Marcus? 50. 50. <laughs> oh no, it's not. No. It's just that it's so thick. Or maybe it's probably only 49. Yeah, 49 centimeters. Should we take a weight on this one? Yeah, you have to. That's yeah. a really big one. 49. <laughs> Close, but no cigar. 49 <laughs> centimeter. I'm happy with that. Yeah. More than happy. Just gonna take a quick weight in the net to minimize the time of handling the fish. That have to be 1.8. Yeah, it's 2640 grams with the net. Now I'm gonna release this beauty. What an amazing fish right there. 49 centimeters and over 2.6 kilos with the net included. Soon we'll check the weight of the net to get the exact number, but it might be close to the magic mark. Okay, and now it's time to check the weight of the net. 630 gram. Nej. Jo. 630 gram. It's a 2 kilo It's perch. It's a 2 kilo perch. That's crazy. Yeah. That's my, uh, yeah. 2010. 2010 gram. That's probably my second heaviest perch. Not my longest, <laughs> second longest, but second heaviest, I think. Yeah, but you saw the conditions on yeah, that. Yeah, it was a crazy fish. <laughs> awesome. Oh, man. Two kilo. That's big crazy. fish guy, you never disappoint me. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to go for a big one, so I changed to this prototype bait of the bigger model of banger rips. Maybe it's true, big big bait, big fish. Yeah, <laughs> you saw that uh, roach that it, Yeah, 20 centimeter yeah. roach, so this is <laughs> this is just a small <laughs> snack for them actually. But now let's go, we need a 50. Yeah, we need to upgrade even more. Let's clean out this mess and go again. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Yeah, but two kilos bore, I I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was crazy. Huge congrats, Emmanuel. A two kilo perch this far north is not a very common sight. With 49 centimeters, they now hold the big fish point, but they need to get rid of their 30 in the top five to be team sporting. Down south, Team Fish Candy are desperately trying every trick in their book to catch their first perch with no luck so far, but once they find the fish, they could get very dangerous. Team Nace are doing okay down in the Netherlands, but they need way bigger fish to pose a serious threat. Oh, fish on! Good one! Good! Yeah, it's a big big perch! Big perch! Big perch! Oh! This is a really big one. Yes, that's a huge one. It's a tank, it's not too good. Oh, yes! Ooh. Oh, it, it's, it's bigger than I thought! It is fucking really big. Oh, Lino man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so great to be. Oh my god. Look how it's hooked. It's on the tiny stinger. It's really just on the outer part of the lip. Yeah. Oh, crazy. You're the man, my man. This one I think looks longer than it is because it's so fat. Yesterday when we was fishing, we lost so much fish because uh, uh, they were just biting in the back and see. Now we put on a stinger in uh, Perchpo, just to be sure to catch them and see how it's hooked like Dustin said. It couldn't be hooked further out in the mouth. Look at it. Oops. Calm down, big perch. Oh, the neck it's, is so it's, crazy. So look how fat it is, Dustin. I think it's closer to, it's like closer to two kilo this one. Because it's so fat and so high. <sighs> it just looks so crazy. Measure it real quick, I want to know how yes. big it is. I'm gonna wet it. Okay. No, actually it's long, it's long, it's long, Dustin. It's 49. It's 49, Dustin. That's so great. 
<laughs> 49. Great fish, Toby. Only minutes after the 49 caught by Team Headbanger, Team Ney strikes back with an equally long and equally fat perch, and they now have an identical result of 5 perch. A big fish of 49 centimeters and a top 5 of 214 centimeters. How crazy is that? Very well done, Dustin and Tobias. Toby, I think we are not the only team who's catching good, because pre-fishing was quite bad the first days for us and then the weather changed yesterday and the fishing uh, was way better so i think for the teams in the netherlands yeah it's all the same and i think they will catch and you know in the netherlands you can catch this 50 so we are not we are far away from safe and i think there's like four teams maybe in the netherlands uh, for sure, CWC fishing team because we met them and they ever said that during their training they had the biggest one was 44 centimeter. I'm not sure if it's lying or not, but that's not that good, not compared to what they had yet, uh, last year. So for sure the days before Persia has been way worse than the previous years. In the Netherlands. In the Netherlands. Yeah. And also we checked the weather report for the northern Sweden, where I think the Danish uh, the, uh, team sporting and also where Bite of Bleak is fishing. And the weather there was really bad, it was strong wind with a lot of rain. So they might be struggling in northern Sweden, but in Holland it Hopefully. seems like the fishing is good. Yeah, but you know, we are kind of in a sheltered area. Not every water you can fish today quite good because if you're on the big lakes, you have so much wind, you can't fish them proper, I think. No. no? You can't search the fish, you have to do spot lock, you have to be on one spot to, in order to fish uh, effective. And here it's actually okay. Here it's okay because we are sheltered, the wind is strong, but we can handle it. And there's so much new teams this year, like I have no idea what they're planning and what they are doing. No, same. But you know, uh, we will know how they are catching in half an hour. Less than 30 minutes left to their report and the teams have no idea what to expect. Indeed, most of them are battling tough conditions, but while some teams are still doing fine, others are struggling harder. Team Kingfisher are hit by a heavy rain front, but that didn't stop them from catching a topwater giant. And now they're trying another spot. Oh, yes, there you go. I think it's not a bad one. Is it a pike? No, it's a perch, looks like. Can you give me the net? Perch. Holy shit, it's a good one. It's a 40. First good cast. Job. First cast in your spot. That's a nice fish. Again, on the popper. So let's quickly measure it and put it back. There it is. Uh, it's not 40, it's 39. 39 centimeters. Again, top water. First cast on a new spot. Not that bad of a top 5, keeping in mind that every fish is caught on top water. Team Headbanger are 9 cm behind Sporting in the top 5, and their smallest one is the 30. So they just need a 39 to steal the point. Another nice lunker on the banger ribs and this lady didn't hesitate at all. 39 cm or bigger and they will steal the top 5 point from Sporting and oh yes! With 44 cm they now reach a top 5 of 228 cm and are thereby holding 2 out of the 4 points at the moment. But now Stefan is hooked up. Hey, so. hey. Or maybe a little. Maybe a Not little. too bad, but pretty one. 46 centimeter. Pretty girl, huh? There's nothing but pure love for those beautiful fish. She is so pretty. Never been caught before. Let's put her back. A 3 centimeter increase for Team Sporting, but still 2 centimeters behind Headbanger. Down in the Netherlands, Team Neistroft are on fire and they have clearly cracked the code. Fishing shatter baits in an area protected from the wind. Oh, fish, 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 fish! Good one, good one! It's a, it's a big rock. Yeah, it's a huge one. I see it. Oh, look out, Dustin. Take it easy, take it easy, take it easy. Yes! yes! It's a big one. 
big one. Oh. It's, the funny thing is, yesterday at the same spot we had in pre-fishing a 49.9.8, and this could be close to it. That's a big one, Oscar. That's a big one. Oh my God! Yes, Tommy. I wet the board. Yes. It's 48, I guess. I hope you're wrong. I hope, I hope it's 50. No, it's not. But it's nice fish. It's great fish. And, do you know what this on? Yeah, stinger. <laughs> yes. What? Do you see how big it is, Dustin? Yes. It can for sure be the top fish for today. It can. Not certain, but we'll see. Okay, we see it's a clicker, it's a lanka, it's a tank. No, it's between lanka and tank. It's fine. No, it's a 50. It's a 50. It's a 50. It's a 50? Yes, it's a 50. Wait, is, wait. can you squeeze it too fast? Wait, wait. You, you think it's... Yeah, it's on. It, it's on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Hey, let's release it real quick and uh, celebrate. It was like kind on the edge. I think it was a 50. Like it was like 50 pounds. Fish, big one. Oh. Very big perch. Very big perch. F it's a huge perch. This is insane. They already have a 50 plus in the net and this one doesn't seem too small either. There's only minutes left until the 12 o'clock phone report and this might be the fish they need to pass headbanger on the top 5 board. Yes! Yes! F yes! Toy! Whoa! Crazy! What the hell? What is that? Yes! <laughs> Both took on the warrior. Mine is really golden one, and he's a craw eater. Sure. sure. <laughs> Look at this fish is <laughs> good, Dustin. Yes! 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 That's crazy. And uh, the mouth needs to be closed, so we have to measure this one again. Yeah, because we were a bit... Yeah, too yeah. excited. But you see here, it's 50 for sure. It's, it's 50, like, it's n nothing to talk about. So 50.5, that means it's 50. Yeah, it's a tank. It's a tank. You can release yours quick, and then I will measure mine. So now we're releasing the 50 centimeter perch. Have a good life. <laughs> okay, now it's time to measure my perch. I think it's 46, something like that. 47 so 50 and 47 that's such a great result so release this one real quick i'm really happy goodbye and both of us caught the fish on the nice warrior and i had a new prototype as a trailer on it it's the action paddle is a really nice bait and working also as a trailer what's special about our shatter baits is many things but the one thing is we have a spiral so you can attach the bait to a spiral and if you catch fish like that and have a quite much action then the bait will hold way longer and the hook is always free because the lure is under the hook so you have a better hook set with this lure so catch another one toby well done boom good start for once in parks pro Yes! <laughs> it's uh, soon the end of first program. Actually, I think we did really good. We just didn't get the bigger ones. We have a really nice top five. Not enough though. We need to upgrade a couple of big ones. I think we probably be in the top five, but we are outside top three. We have uh, no big ones so far. No really big ones. We had really good fish. Somebody caught some really big ones. I bet that we're going to hear about a 50 in the first program here. I will bet whatever you want. Is it an upgrade just before the report, Pelle? I think so. Nice. 43? 43. That's gonna put away the, the small... 38. 38 in mid. Sweet. Now let's make a call. So this is Matt from Gator. We've currently got one fish at 39 centimeters. And that is all, guys. This is Adam from Team Catch With Care and uh, we're uh, on 197 total length and zero top water, biggest fish, 47. 47, congrats. congrats. Good fish. Nice, nice fish. one. That's a nice fish. How many fish? I didn't get it. Um, five. That's good, congrats. Thank you, Sean. So, Team Fish Kenny here. We have one and a half pike until now and no perch. This is Stefan from Team Sporting. We have 16 fish. Our biggest is 46. We have 
226 centimeter and zero on top water. Okay guys, this is Pelle from Bite of Leak. We have the number point 42. We have uh, the biggest fish 46 and uh, the top five is 219 and uh, zero on top water. So this is Marius from Tim Kingfisher. We have a total amount of seven fish. Our biggest fish is 46. We've got a total top five length of 194 and our biggest top water fish is 46. Oh, nice. Nice one, nice one. Congrats. Wow. Nice one. Nice. Thanks, thanks guys. Really nice top water. Really good. Yeah. Uh, I was 46. 46. 46. Yeah. Very good. Good work, boys. Thanks, man. Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, guys, this is uh, Emmanuel from Team Headbanger. We have a total number of 11 fish. Uh, and I just caught a perch over 2 kilo. And oh. the length was 49 centimeter. Ooh, nice Ooh. one. Really nice. Two kilos. Nice. Our nice. total top five is 228 centimeter. And we have zero top water fish. A really nice fish, Emmanuel. Good job. Good job. Congrats. Good job. Nice Good fish. fish. Thanks. Hey, here's Dustin from Team uh, Nace Troft. We have a total amount of seven fish. The biggest fish was 50.8, so almost 51. Nice. What? Nice one. You will like to. Congrats, Dustin. Thank you. And the total top five is 232. Good job. And our biggest uh, fish on top water is 39. Nice. Good job, guys. Good work, boys. Well done, guys. Good, good job. Fish. Well done. Nice. Thank you. Have a good second half. Okay. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Oh, that was pretty good for once. <laughs> that was pretty good, but still 46 on top water. Wow. Oh, uh, that's uh, well, it's possible, but still, it's. Uh, I don't think we need to focus on the top water anymore. No. Uh, so now we're just going for the. To, to secure the top five. Top five really and the biggest fish. Yes. Because he caught a 49, so it can. They are potentially bigger ones. Yes. What it was Team Headbanger, right? Yes, Headbanger. So. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, not too bad, but not enough either. Two two thirty-two. Oof, that's uh, that's good. That's good. And one fifty is on top. Let's go catch a fifty-one. Yeah, that's the only thing we can do. <laughs> that's the plan. <laughs> what do we say about that? Well done, headbanger. Well, well, well done, Nace. And that top water, that can be dangerous mm. overall. Mm. So, yeah. Kingfish did a very good job mm. this uh, morning. Yeah, that can be a two, two point fish. Yeah. Yeah, they caught some monsters. Uh, but every one of them, Headbanger got a two kilo fish. They got a two kilo fish was 49. Dustin got a, got a 58. Got a 50.8. So, 50 50 so 50 centimeter. <laughs> Jesus, but no one had a perch over 40 on top water. So no, we've got 39. 39 is the biggest one yeah. on top water. So we had also 39, but a 46, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really awesome. <sighs> Oh God! Woo-wee! That was... That was... Yeah, but... Hey! Yeah. yeah. Three yeah. fish and we're... Oh, three okay. fish! But congrats for uh, Team uh, Nace. And Team Dustin. Nace. Yeah, 50 and also Headbanger for... Yeah. What I th did they say? Two kilo perch? Two kilo perch. It yeah. was like 49. Yeah. Fat one. A really good one for... So, uh, win winning... The biggest fish of today. We need to beat uh, Dustin. We are fishing on spots that contains 50s. Yeah, yeah, bigger. I'm and bigger. we caught five fish, two of 47. Yeah. And I always say, and you know that, we don't gonna look to the other teams. Yeah. We have to do it. Yeah. yeah so, yeah. come yeah. on, buddy. Let's start up some engines. Go back yeah. into the. <coughs> Roller coaster, <laughs> and then uh, try to catch some big ones. Yeah. So uh, that's us for episode one, and be sure to be subscribed to Canal Gratis, and uh, see you in episode two. Exactly. Later. <laughs> yes, we got the results. It's a really nice topwater fish. 46 from, from Kingfisher is a giant topwater fish. It will be hard to catch. We cannot beat that.
and Team Nace got a 50, Headbanger got a 49, CVC got a 47. So oh, we are way behind. Oh, so they had over 230 centimeters. Yes. Yeah, the biggest one, 51, almost. Ah, 50. 50.8 is 50. Yeah. Only Team Gator has one fish. We've got some catching up to do. Dustin's doing really well. I wonder yep. where they are. They've got to be in a river or something. I don't know. I don't think they're out here. Well, we saw where CVC was. Yeah. Well, we're on hotspots right now. Yep. There's Let's a lot of it. perch. Yep. So, our plan, we can absolutely upgrade this. Mm. This, this We can do it. Yep. But, and we lost here. We was over that here. All three days. All three days we were over mm. that. So it's not impossible. Not impossible. Let's go, bro. Everything is possible. We have to keep on using. I'm glad <laughs> no one caught <laughs> 41. 40. Yes, man. Yes, man. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really awesome. Oh, I'm so happy. <sighs> ja. Nice. Fan nice. Also, jävla bra fiskar. Sju fiskar. Now, guys, the goal is to catch a what the f birds, and we have done it before. So let's go for it. Let's go. <laughs> At the moment, it's two points, right? Two points. Yeah. Let's catch them out. Grosse hecht. No, not nine. Grosse barge. <laughs> what is it in Swedish? Stora abarar. Stora abarar. Yes. <laughs> oh man, what a fantastic start of the season. We've seen some incredible perch being caught, and this day is far from over. The number point is steadily held by Bite Oblique with 42 approved perch, while the top water point is in the hands of Kingfisher Angelresen. When it comes to the big fish, Team Neistroft are dominating and are holding both the big fish point and top 5 points, but Headbanger are breathing down their necks. See you in one week with the second episode of Perch Pro 8. Thank you all for watching the first episode of Perch Pro. My name is Mille Pettersson and you have been watching Perch Pro 8.